from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. An update on new COVID cases in Henrico schools and in the county and county officials issue a plea for possible sexual assault victims to come forward. We'll have details in today's Henrico News Minute for Wednesday, October 6, 2021. And now for the news. After the arrest last month of Short Pump Middle School teacher Dean Lakey on sexual assault charges stemming from incidents involving a minor several years ago, Henrico officials are now asking anyone else who may have been a victim of similar incidents involving the teacher to come forward. Lakey was arrested September 2nd in North Carolina. He faces six charges related to incidents with a minor that occurred during the 2016-17 school year. Now, anyone who may be a victim should call Henrico Police Detective Thomas Alfin at 501-4143 or Sergeant Jennifer Clark at 501-7326. Henrico County Public Schools reported more than 100 new COVID-19 cases and about 1,000 close contacts last week. During the week, there were 56 new cases reported at the elementary school level, 26 at the middle school level, and 26 at the high school level. There's also one in the facilities annex. In total, since September 1st, there have been about 690 cases reported division-wide. There are 48,000 or so in-person students and about 7,000 staff members in the system. Now, the only elementary school with more than five cases last week was Ash Elementary, which recorded 13. At Ratcliffe Elementary, one case resulted in 57 close contacts. That was the highest number of exposures at a single elementary school last week. The most exposures at the middle school level came from Moody Middle, which had 70, and Fairfield Middle had 59. And at the high school level, Verona High School's eight cases resulted in 264 close contacts, while six cases at Glen Allen High resulted in 110. One recent weeks. COVID-19 in Henrico has been a tale of two metrics. New daily cases are continuing to decline, but virus-related deaths among county residents are continuing to increase more quickly than they did in the summer. The county reported only 46 new confirmed cases of COVID yesterday following just 33 on Monday, but did report six new virus-related deaths, bringing to 13 the total number reported in the first five days of October alone. Last month, the county reported 32 deaths related to the virus. That was the most attributed to it since March. Now, Richmond and Henrico Health District spokesperson Kat Long told the citizen that some of the deaths reported yesterday occurred recently, but some occurred as far back as August. Henrico's seven-day positivity percentage among both PCR and rapid testing encounters is exactly 3% lower than the statewide averages for those tests. And Rico's numbers are 5.5 and 5.2 percent, respectively. Well, as of yesterday, the Virginia DMV is now offering walk-in service on alternating days at all of its 75 customer service centers. Appointment-only service will be offered Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Walk-in service will be offered on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as well as Saturdays. Hours will vary by office location. You can view hours and conduct more than 50 transactions at dmvnow.com. If your dog or cat needs a rabies vaccine, mark your calendars for Saturday, October 16th. The county police division will provide rabies vaccinations from 9 a.m. to noon that day at the Henrico Government Center at 4301 East Parham Road. You have to pay at the cashier's office in the administration building there before seeing a vet on the first level of the adjacent parking deck. Each vaccine costs $10 and must be paid in cash. If you have questions, call 727-8801. And the American Red Cross is putting out an urgent call for blood and platelet donations. It's seeking to collect 10,000 additional blood products each week during the next month for the blood supply to recover and meet hospital and patient needs. Donors of all types, especially type O and platelet donors, are urged to make appointments to give now and in the weeks ahead. Blood donor turnout has reached the lowest levels of the year and according to officials, the national blood inventory is also at its lowest for this time of the year since 2015. There's less than one day supply of certain blood types recently. 
For details about where you can give and when, visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS.